Wagwan lovely people welcome back so based on the title you know what I'm going to make so let's get straight to it so right here I have 12 ounce dried chickpeas so what I'm going to do is to sort these for a few hours so a few hours later as you can tell the chickpeas have doubled in size so what I'm going to do next is to drain this liquid give these a light rinse and then add them to my pot along with some fresh water and salt and you want to make sure that you cook your chickpeas until they are tender. So about an hour later my chickpeas are cooked and I've also gone ahead and prepared all my other ingredients. So here I have all the other ingredients. I have my cooked chickpeas with about half a cup of that chickpeas water, shred colored bell peppers, coconut milk, celery salt. I have my curry powder which is a mixture of grace and sheaf curry powder. I have onion, all purpose seasoning, ginger, garlic, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, scallion and tomato. The next step is to add some oil to your pot and you want to saute the onion, garlic and the ginger for about a minute or two. Afterwards, you want to add your curry powder and you want to allow this to burn for two minutes. I also added about a tablespoon of water and that's just to loosen up the curry powder a bit. So the next step is to add your cooked chickpeas and you want to make sure that you stir this properly so the chickpeas are nicely coated with that curry. Once you have stirred this properly, you want to start adding your coconut milk. So at this point, you can start adding your all-purpose seasonings and season to your liking. After you have added your seasonings, you want to give this a good stir, 
Cover your pot and allow this to simmer down for 25 minutes. Just a few minutes in and this is looking amazing. I wish you all could just smell this. This smells so good. So I'm going to cover this and allow this to simmer down some more until I get to my desired consistency. So this is what I'm talking about and as you can tell the difference in the consistency. At this point, you can remove your scotch bonnet pepper because you don't want it burst in the pot. You just want the flavor from it. You can also remove your thyme stems as well. So one final touch to this coconut curry chickpeas is to top it off with some chopped scallion. So go ahead, add your scallion, give this a good stir and turn off your stove, all right? You don't need to get this any thicker than this because you need gravy if you dip the roti in, don't. And also coconut milk have the tendency to thicken up on its own as it cold. So leave it just like this. And that's it for the coconut curry chickpeas. This looks amazing and let me tell you, this was full of flavor and niceness. So, so good. So now it's time to make the roti. So I have some unbleached all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, coconut oil, some extra flour and water so you want to begin by adding all your dry ingredients the baking powder and the salt so after that you want to gradually add some water and gently knead until you form a soft dough So this is the consistency you want to achieve. So what you want to do next is to add a little bit of oil over this and you want to cover it and allow it to sit for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you want to dust your surface with some flour along with the dough and then you want to start dividing the dough into some smaller pieces to make the roti. So after that, you want to take a piece of the dough, dust it with some flour and then roll until you get like a circular shape. They don't have to be perfect, okay? Now after that, I'm going to brush with unrefined coconut oil. Now you can choose other oils of choice or just use melted butter. So what you want to do next is to slit the dough halfway and then you're going to dust again with some flour and then roll until you form like a cone shape so after that you want to tuck the ends in until you form like a ball i'm not a roti expert so if you're a beginner like myself just tuck the ends in and form like a ball okay
what you can also do is to keep the dough into that triangular cone shape like or as i mentioned before just tuck the ends in until you form like a ball okay so what you want to do next is to cover these for an additional 15 minutes after that 15 minutes he wants to roll the dough out again into a circle So to make the roti, I'm going to use my cast iron, so I've already gone ahead and greased it. So what you want to do now is to add your roti, and then once you start to see those are the ear pockets, you want to brush with some coconut oil, flip to the other side, brush again with some coconut oil, and you want to repeat this process twice. Once you start to see those are the dark spots, you know the roti is cooking. In total, this should only take about 2 minutes. So one roti done, I'm going to repeat the same process for the remaining dough. Make sure to cook this over medium heat because you don't want the roti to burn. So this is my final roti and let me tell you I'm super happy with how these turned out. Of course there's room for improvement but these right here were amazing. As you can tell the different layers right there, so so good. So we have the roti and we have the curry chickpeas. What more do we need? This meal was so delectable. I give it a 10 out of 10. I hope you all try and enjoy this recipe. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for some more amazing recipes. Until next time, bless up on yourself.